Well, this week was quiet in the financial markets. There weren't any significant economic releases except for a weekly jobs report. Hey, it's Eric Osnes with ericismybanker.com and CMG Home Loans coming to you from Kent Showald Center where we're here for the Kent Expo uh, with my weekly update for the week ending May 10th, 2024. Um, in that weekly jobless report, initial claims rose 22,000 to 231,000. That's the highest level since August, 2023. Continuing claims also rose up 17,000 to 1.785 million. Next week will be important for the financial markets and for interest rates. Monday brings us uh, the producer price index PPI, which measures the cost of raw materials and components to manufacturers. That's considered a leading economic indicator. And Wednesday will bring us the CPI, consumer price index, one of the most important indicators for inflation. Uh, also on Wednesday will be a retail sales report for April. Retail sales have been really strong lately, uh, which has buoyed the economy and it's forestalled a recession. Strong retail sales along with a lot of government spending. Uh, so with tax refunds already hitting bank accounts, uh, we don't expect a, a light retail sales number. We expect that one to be uh, strong again for the month of April. Uh, for the week, interest rates were pleasantly lower. Here's the national averages. Conventional 30-year fixed rate, 7.18%. That's down 0.19 from a week ago. 15-year fixed rate, 6.65%, down 0.17. FHA and VA 30-year fixed rate, 6.63%. That's down 0.19. 30-year fixed rate jumbo, 7.4, down 0.15. Moving on, housing for an elderly parent or a disabled child. You know, I've been lending for over 40 years and I sometimes forget that I know things that are not common knowledge uh, and could be very helpful to you. They're not really tricks or, or loopholes. I've just acquired a lot of knowledge over the years, a lot of those lending guidelines. So let's just call them house hacks. So here's a hack that can be super helpful. You can purchase a home for an elderly parent or a disabled child as an owner-occupied transaction. This entitles you to the best interest rates you get for owner-occupied loans, as well as a down payment as low as 5%. In contrast, the alternative has always been to structure the loan as a second home or as a non-owner-occupied property, uh, programs that carry a much higher interest rate and a significantly higher down payment. Uh, to be eligible, you just need to document that the parent or the disabled child does not qualify for the loan on their own. Uh, they do not need to be on the mortgage. They don't even have to be on title, although they could be if you want to. This can be a real game changer for someone looking for a housing solution for their aging parents or for a disabled child. Uh, reach out and I can tell you more about this. Clever hack. That's all I've got for this week. I hope you have a great weekend. Reach out if I can answer any of your financial related story problems. You can call me 206-915-3742. Email me eric at ericismybanker.com or you can look for me on social media just for, for Eric is my banker and you'll find me. Hope you have a great weekend. Talk to you next week.